This video tutorial is for conditioning warrior two to skandhasana. Those are two separate poses. We'll be bearing load uh, throughout the pose and demonstrating three levels of difficulty. Uh, go ahead and start with your club in a warrior two position with a modified side flag with your arm bent at 90 degrees. And your back arm can be straight here. And begin by creating your fascial tension, drawing energy up through the feet, traveling into the deep rotators in the hip, traveling through the core and the spine. Hold for a moment here. Find your alignment. Slightly deeper bend in the front leg if you can, but it's totally fine if people stay high when they're starting out. Uh, go ahead and uh, transition your weight into your back leg and bring your club to prayer. Create a hip hinge and fold here and pause high. And really just create that stability. Create external rotation force here, keeping crown coccyx alignment. Bring your club back through prayer and then externally rotate your front arm to return to a modified side flag here. And then again, shift the weight into the back leg, ground through the heel. This heel should not lift at all. Uh, go only as low as you're able to keep that heel down. Again, externally rotate. Note that the arm is externally rotating as the right hip is also externally rotating. And she's using a yogic style of breathing. But as you are training this, a force level breath is just fine. So you'll be breathing out in both directions. Go ahead and switch sides. Straighten your right leg, pivot the right toes in. She just did a little cardio switch before you two switch there. Perfect. All right. So again, uh, find your sway action, moving the weight into the opposite foot, heave and pitch as she lowers down. There's a tiny bit of rotation happening um, with her spine. It's very, very subtle here. Good. And she's also incorporating a little bit of surge as well. So it's touching on five of the six degrees of freedom and a little bit of raw yaw as well. All right. And let's just do that warrior two switch to get you onto the opposite side. Put the toes in, exhale. So here, level two, uh, shift and transition the weight into the back leg, bring your club to prayer, and then press your club out to two-handed flag. And here, drop the hip as far as you can go down comfortably, and there's external rotation happening in the right leg. Bring the club back through prayer and exhale to full side flag. Again, the club comes through prayer. She's exhaling in both phases. And go slow to demonstrate that you can be stable at any point during the transition here. Create that fascial tension. And when you're ready, go ahead and switch sides with a warrior two switch. This is a quick way to get your club to the opposite side. All right, initiate your sway. And notice your body's kind of moving in this arcing pattern. So you're moving from top to bottom and surging from right to left. Your elbows are completely straight and the shoulders are packed when you're in that skandhasana position here. Excellent. Your depth will improve as you start to train it. So it takes time. Both strength and mobility. Go ahead and do a warrior two switch. And exhale. All right, and this is level three. I haven't really filmed this in any of my other products. So, Give yourself a little rest if you need to. Oh, you, you want to switch it? Oh, yeah. So, Rachel's just learning this one today. So try that at home. This is a combination of shoulder cast uh, and a warrior two, two skandhasana transition. Inhale, bring your club into back position. Good. Exhale, elbow in here, and then move the club over to the left shoulder as you press it up to 200 flag and the club's in the center of your body. Carve it back over the left shoulder. Excellent. And then two-handed flag. Good. And just try to find your flow. Again, inhale, bring your club into back position. Carve that elbow in. Good. Exhale, two-handed flag. Perfect. One more. Beautiful. Perfect stability. She can do a warrior two switch to transition her club. Good. And begin. Inhale, club into back position. Carve that elbow in. Perfect. Club comes right out in front of the nose and the belly button. Use the club as an opportunity to heighten your proprioception of where your limbs are in space. Keep drawing energy up through the feet, transferring that force into the core. And then after you finish last one, you can chug and recover. And bring your club to prayer. And inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, four counts. Attempting to get the heart rate down as quickly as possible. 
This conditioning exercise is excellent for con conditioning the postures, warrior two and skandhasana, and it will help you get really, really deep into that skandhasana or attacker's pose, uh, really helping to open up your hip adductors and your external rotators under load.